So, a lot of people have been talking to me and requesting, um, you know, a status on my, my mining rigs. Uh, what do they earn? How much power do they consume? Is it still profitable? You know, all of these questions, you know, what hardware do I use? So, I want to answer some of those things today. Um, so, to start off, I'm, I'm going to go on to the hardware. So, Basically, for the graphics cards, I'm using RX Vega 56 cards, and in the mining rig um, that I've created, I use six cards, right? Uh, for a total cost of $5,010 Canadian. Uh, everything will be uh, in Canadian here as far as price goes, um, just because we're here in Canada. So uh, for the power supplies, I use two power supplies for the, for the one mining rig. I use a 1000 watt power supply and a 750 watt power supply. Um, they're gold rated. Uh, one of them is bronze rated, but the, the next rigs that will be made uh, after this will be, uh, will be modeled differently, of course. But this is just for this rig specifically. It's a mock rig. So. For the motherboard, I use a Biostar BTC board uh, with an LGA 1151 socket, uh, just with like a, an Intel uh, uh, Celeron processor, um, and it has uh, six PCIe slots, of course. Uh, for the RAM, I use DDR4 RAM at uh, 2400 megahertz, um, and I use uh, eight gigs in uh, dual channel uh, orientation. Um, I also purchased uh, PCIe risers, uh, so I have six of those risers uh, so that I have space for all of my cards in the rig. Um, then I have uh, the hard drive. So overall, so overall our cost for hardware is $5,660 Canadian. So um, the cost breakdown, like I said, the RX Vegas are $5,010, the 1000 watt power supply is $220, the 750 watt power supply is $60, the motherboard is $140, the RAM is $100, the PCIe risers I get for $10 a piece, so $60, the Intel processor cost me $50, and the hard drive was $20. So some of these things I sourced out locally, um, but a lot of them I bought either at Memory Express or Newegg, right? Um, so again, the total cost is $5,660. So with that being said, let's uh, break down the profit, okay? So the hash rate per card is 1700 hash, mining uh, kryptonite or kryptonite. Um, so 1700 hash a second, uh, times six for the cards equals 10,200 hash rate. So uh, a second mining uh, electronium or Monero. Um, and currently I'm mining uh, electronium at pool.electronium.space. I'll have this data in the description as well uh, of the video so that you guys can take a look at it and really, you know, examine the details. So um, what that hash rate mines me is 892 electronium a day uh, currently, right now, as per the difficulty uh, for this day. So, and currently one electronium is valued at uh, 8.3 cents Canadian. So 892 electronium times 8.3 cents uh, equates to about $74.03 Canadian a day. So my rig is earning $74 a day, right? Um, so for a month, right, if we quickly do the calculation, so $74.03 a day times 30 days uh, equates to $2,220.90 a month, right? Which is pretty good. That's a, that's a pretty uh, substantial amount for a mining rig. That earns um, more than, uh, than a lot of people earn for their salary for the month. Um, so, let's move on to the power cost. The power cost per rig is uh, 1,050 watts. So the total power cost at the end of the month is $87.50. 
Um, the total watts per uh, RX Vega 56 is 141 watts. Um, so now for the three month calculation uh, for my return on investment, uh, we have the hardware valued at $5,660. Um, I'm calculating for three months of power, uh, so at 0 0.09 cents a kilowatt hour. Uh, for $262.50, the profit generated at $2,220.90 a month. So if we take the cost of the hardware plus the power, uh, the power bill, uh, we have a total value of $5,922.50. Um, so that's my overall cost. That is the money that I have invested after three months. Um, and then the profit that I have generated uh, to return on investment has actually uh, cleared that up in about 2.66 months. Right? So two months and two thirds of a month essentially is my return on investment. So hopefully that answers uh, a few of your questions there. Um, based on this calculation today on the market, um, everything has been lowballed. Um, so there's obviously a lot more potential here. I uh, personally underclock my cards um, because I want them to last longer. So I don't overclock them uh, too, too much. I can get about 1900 hash per card, um, but I personally prefer 1700. It's a safer hash rate. And uh, I find that uh, my mining operation is more consistent and, uh, and profitable in that sense. So with that said, um, let's take a look at the mining rig itself. Okay. So guys, um, on the, I guess it would be on your right side, you will see a power supply here. This is the 1000 watt power supply that um, runs some of the cards uh, and also some of the risers. Um, and then on, the, on your left side, you will see uh, the 750 watt bronze power supply that uh, runs some of the risers and the motherboard and, and everything like that, right? Um, this is my cable management. It's again, this is a, a mock setup. It's decently done, uh, but uh, but yeah. So that's the situation on the power supplies. Um, and then on top here, of course, we have the RX Vegas. I have them placed on top here on the PCIe risers. I have them spaced out for good airflow, good cooling. Currently, the cards operate at about 40 degrees Celsius. Um, with uh, ambient room temperature being about 20 degrees ish around there um, so and then if we uh, just turn the rig around so you guys can see what the situation is here you can see here that we have the motherboard here our SATA our ATX power our RAM here, DDR4 RAM, and then all of our PCIe risers in the back. I apologize if the lighting isn't uh, doing it justice, but we have our hard drive here. I'm just using a standard hard drive. Um, I found that I save a decent amount of money on it and instead of uh, doing an SSD. Um, SSDs I'll probably use in the future but this seems to be working pretty well just the way it is. So that is essentially the mining rig right there. And um, with the power, the PCIe risers, the BTC motherboard, um, that's pretty much it. I plug in both of these, I uh, flick the power switches on these power supplies and off she goes. I've done a lot of um, optimization to these cards. I have BIOS flashed them. I have used custom drivers. Uh, I have also done registry modifications. And, uh, and that is how I output these results for these cards um, and have made them so profitable. 
Um, I've also went ahead and created a, a script for automation so that when this computer turns on, it uh, optimizes everything and then uh, basically starts mining. Now they're re-enabled and the profiles are loading now. So here are the rigs, or the rig. And the GPU tack on them. And there we go, they're at full load. Okay guys, and there we have it. There's our hash rate, so 1700s, all of the cards, and here are the cards. As you can see, the same rig that you saw earlier, and 100% load on all six. And once again, just the hash rate there. Mining Electronium using the same algorithm as Monero. Okay, so let's get started here. So unbox this and we'll see what this is. I think it's the processor that I use for these rigs. So basically what we have here is a 2.9 gigahertz, uh, 2 megabit cache LGA 1151 Celeron. And that is what we use for the mining rig. It's cheap, it's effective. I don't do any CPU mining. Um, I just do GPU mining. I could do CPU mining, but it's all good. I'm happy with the GPU mining. I get fantastic results out of it. So I believe this is the motherboard. I could be wrong though. Yep. Jeez. This packaging, they really do a number on it. It's good. So here's the motherboard I use. You guys can look up the model. Okay, hopefully that helps. You guys can see the model on that. Look it up. Check it out. Get the specs. I'll post links again, like I said, in the, uh, in the video description for you guys. So we'll take a look at this motherboard here. Get the manual. This. Take a look right at the motherboard. This is the exact same motherboard that I use personally uh, for the mining rig, as you can see here. So you have your PCIe slots one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we have our two slots for our RAM. And like I said, I do dual channel setup and then implement the processor. Uh, plug in the, uh, the power supply, and we're pretty much on our way. Um, I don't currently have uh, switches for my F panel uh, to turn on the motherboard, so what I'll do is I'll just quickly short it out. I'll take uh, something like a pen or, or whatever, and basically touch the positive and negative, and then start up the motherboard that way manually. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's essentially... Uh, a mining rig in a nutshell that uh, that I build and that's the profitability um, I know last month or was it last month? Uh, no sorry two weeks ago when I had this mining rig running it was actually uh, generating 4,400 a month on ETN when ETN was at uh, 13 cents um, 13 cents uh, an electronium so, which is, uh, which is amazing on, the, on our uh, ROI, right? So I went ahead and started looking at purchasing a lot more of these um, setups because uh, I've, I've come up with a cookie cutter um, hardware situation for them. So which is pretty awesome. And basically we're gonna be looking at building uh, quite a few more of these in a more industrial space. So, exciting stuff coming up. Uh, <laughs> so hopefully that answers your guys' questions. Um, if, uh, if you guys have any other questions, just leave them in the comments below. Um, I'll get to them when I can. As you guys know, busy, 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 especially with, uh, with this stuff on the rise. Um, but again, I wish you guys the best of luck and happy mining. Um, as always, if you guys enjoyed the content, uh, please let me know. Hit that like button. I appreciate it. I'll keep making these videos. Your support means everything to me. 
uh, as you guys very well know. And uh, again, thanks for tuning in and stay regular.